Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your monthly reading for May. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. As always, though, I will shuffle live. <clears throat> this month, we're going to be doing things slightly different. We will be uh, doing a the month, but we'll be pulling out five cards, one for each week. And for each of those, what we'll be doing is looking at what the obstacles are for each week and then what the, how, how you're able to overcome or navigate through that specific situation. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing this particular week. We, I have um, some side projects going on which is going to prevent me from doing all the full readings that I, like I normally do. So in order to get information out to you, I decided to do a reading like this. That way you still have a weekly reading in case I'm not able to get to those, to those um, weekly readings. More than likely I will not. Um, I will still try to get to the relationship readings, um, but they might be a little bit on the delayed side, okay? Hopefully not, but let's pray that they are, okay? Or pray that they're not delayed, I should say. I'm just moving my cards. All right, I have gotten all the cards out. Now we're gonna look at, oh, by the way, um, we're also going to be pulling out an oracle card at the end, like a final message from the universe, and then hopefully additional guidance. All right, let's take a look here. Your overall energy for the month is dry desert, uh, number 31. And what this really comes to is sometimes... Sometimes you might feel alone or some, and, and there's people around you, but you're there, there really isn't the substance that you're looking for. Um, it can also be about like things that you've put effort in that you're not really getting the outcome that you want, right? And honestly, this is, I feel like this is just the beginning of, well, no, this is, I feel like this is more the ending of like a dry spell. I feel like you are starting to come into things that are going to be more fruitful that although might require effort will still allow you to get the results that you want. I, I feel like in the past you worked, you worked, you worked. And although you might have wielded the, the results, maybe it wasn't necessarily the results you were really looking for, or maybe they were lacking in something. Okay. That's what I'm getting with this dry desert card. I'm going to go through each um, week one by one, and then I'm going to be um, labeling them on, on, the, um, on the video. That way you can come back to it during that particular week, okay? All right, week one, we have the King of Cups. And this is you showing up super strong, Gemini. This is about you stepping into yourself. I feel like you, in, in this particular first week, I feel like you're healing, you're motivated. I feel like there's something about you that has been shaken, but shaken in a very good way is actually what I'm getting here. It's like something has stirred something in you. And I, I really like that because I feel like you might have been in a dry spell for a while in regards to something specifically with the dry desert here. 
uh, with the King of Cups, we have the Four of Cups in reverse as far as an obstacle is concerned. And what I'm getting here with this um, Four of Cups in reverse is I'm not really seeing an obstacle here, but I I guess really the only thing, because I feel like your emotions are really driving you, but I feel like maybe this is really about your nonstop thinking or your nonstop emotions and, and thinking all at the same time. I'm getting thinking from this, from this four of cups, not really uh, in reverse. I'm not really sure why I'm getting um, thinking, but I feel like you're in, in constant thought um, processing. It's like you're, you're going and you're going and you're going. And for some reason, um, you're over the way to navigate this and overcome it. We have the Knight of Wands and okay, this makes sense now. The Four of Cups in reverse in this particular instance is like maybe you're emotionally interested in something, whether it's work or a person or whatever, but maybe you're not wanting to do anything about it just yet. You want to Maybe there's something holding you back, whether it's a mindset, whether you've been hurt in the past, whether it's you don't think you're good enough or whatever that is. Um, whatever that looks like, I feel like that's the obstacle. With the Knight of Wands here, this is saying uh, in order to overcome and navigate this situation, go for it. Just take charge. Move ahead. This is talking about moving forward. This is really good. It's a good way to start the month, you guys. Um, get out of your heads. Don't overthink. Um, just go for it. For week two, we have the Page of Wands. Wow. Great energy. Um, this is talking about... This is good news. This is... You... Being courageous, I, I feel like you do go for it. You do go talk to this person. Um, I feel like this is you showing up again. You just saying, I got this. I'm, And you have this way about you that you're able to talk. And I feel like you're going to be able to talk your way through this. Um, passionately, energetically, but calmly all at the same time. What? is the obstacle this particular week. We have the 10 of wands in reverse. Wow. I feel like you have so much passion for whatever it is um, that's coming your way, um, whether it's work or whether it's a person. But I feel like this person kind of, I feel like you're ungrounded is really what I'm getting because I feel like this person grounds you and ungrounds you or this job grounds you or ungrounds you. It, it, it There's a duplicity energy here where, and I'm also seeing distance. Um, so I don't, I don't know if this is talking about, I really want this, but you know, there's distance involved. How is this going to work? So let's say for instance, you have a family but there's a job that you really love, but it has, it takes you further out. Um, and you're dr having to drive further, or maybe you have to travel, um, more frequently. Um, and even though it's something that you really love, maybe you're, you're going back and forth a bit about this because of that. Maybe you're interested in a person and maybe because of the distance, you're concerned that maybe they're not going to be faithful or maybe it's not going to work. Maybe you shouldn't put in the effort because, you know, long distance relationships don't work. I feel like these are the different things that are going on in your minds. Um, but really the overall, um, the only way to overcome it and to navigate through this is the two of swords. And this is in reverse and the two of swords in reverse is saying, yes, you have a hard decision to make, just make it. Stop thinking. This is about don't think, just do. Really no difference in the Knight of Wands. Go ahead, go for it. 
this uh, this decision is something that needs to be made with feeling, not with thought. So get out of your head, Gemini, is what I got for you here. All right, I, I'm seeing nothing but really wonderful things. You're getting in your own way, okay? That's, stop getting in your own way. Um, for week three, we have judgment. Um, you know, I, what I'm really getting here is, It's like you don't want to miss the boat on something, whether it's missing the boat on this job or this person. I feel like you're going to go, you know what? I'm deciding. I'm going to do what makes my heart and my soul sing um, is really what I'm getting from, from, this particular, from this particular judgment card. It's like, you know what? I need, it's like you yourself are thinking you know what, I need to get my head out of my ace because I need to do what's best for me. Um, and I need to start living, you know, it is what I'm getting with this card. The obstacles in this particular, um, in this particular week, we have the eight of wands. I'm seeing distance again. Um, I'm, I'm seeing Yeah, I'm seeing distance. I, I, I don't know why I'm getting distance because this card is about news and travel, but I'm getting distance and, and I feel like you might not be able to travel even though you might want to, okay? So I, I'm feeling like that's probably the obstacle that's going on. Maybe you have other obligations and as much as you want to go do something, you're, you can't because you have certain obligations. Um, then to overcome or navigate through this situation, we have the Ace of Swords. I, I feel like this is just about good communication, good, again, I feel like this is about just you being open and honest and clear about your wants, your needs, and but being truthful about your specific situation and also allowing, um, whether it's the job that you're wanting, or the person that you're you're wanting them speaking up their own truth as well and say okay well i understand that you have this going on are you able to do this instead if it's work or if it's someone that you're interested in at least you'll be able to go you know what this is what's going on in my life how do you feel about that is that something we're able to work around and as long as you're open and i do feel like you're a good communicator because i got that um, with this page of wands, just communicating, right? Um, and, and I feel, I really do feel like whether it's work or a person, is this is going to be good. It, people are going to be accepting of your clear honesty. All right, week four, we have the devil. Don't fret. I actually feel like this is going to be good. Um, I feel... All right, so I feel a couple of different things here. I feel like you might be a little bit in your head and I feel like you're gonna be a little bit sad um, because you're not where you want to be, right? So if it's the job, you're like, oh my gosh, I really wanna be over there, um, but I have to do X, Y, Z. So I feel like you're over obsessing in your mind about what it is you're wanting, you know? And if you made a mistake, even though they said, um, they, they sounded like they understood, okay? Whether, again, person or or or, uh, or business, take it how it resonates. But I feel like you might be over-obsessing about, um, about the decision you made, about not being able to go see them, and if it's gonna flip you on your head. And that, that's just what's, that, that's what I'm getting, which is weird, but that's what I'm getting. Um, to overcome or your obstacle this week, pardon me, we have the six of cups. And really what this comes down to is trying to find the time to really balance things out um, between home and work or your thoughts and, and your emotions, right? It, it, it's, I feel like there's, a lot of balancing that needs to be done on your end 
in order for this to work out. Um, so let's say, for instance, you're super busy doing whatever it is you already have planned, but you really are obsessing about talking to this person. What the Six of Cups is really saying is like, listen, your obstacle is you're juggling so much um, and it might not be really, really balanced, but the reality is, is that whatever it is that you're wanting is actually going to be a balance or if it isn't already a balanced situation. And you just need to give just enough so in order for the other person or the business or whatever to be like, oh, okay, we're on the same page. So for instance, if this is your business or not your business per se, but a, a company that you want to um, start at, but you can't, you, just, you, you can't start immediately because you have all of these other things. It, it's like sending out an email to the hiring supervisor or whatever that looks like and say, I really appreciate, you know, hiring me and take, you know, you being, um, so understanding that I have to take care of all of this. Um, I, I really appreciate this. This shows the caliber of your company, blah, blah, blah. Things of that nature where not only are you expressing how appreciative you are, it's going to make them feel great about hiring you. If this is about a person, same thing. You know, I really appreciate, I know I don't have a lot of time, but I just wanted to send out a quick text to you to say thank you so much for being patient with me. I greatly appreciate it. I have, you know, this going on, you know, what's going on with you? You know, things of that nature, very simple things, nothing major, but enough to, to, to extend that, um, extend the hand and say, just so, just so you know, you're appreciated. And I, I really am grateful for the, the space that you're giving me. It really means a lot. And then for how to overcome and navigate through this, we have the world in reverse. And really what I'm getting here with this world in reverse is the fact that there's joy. Uh, there's joy in, in your heart is really what I'm getting. I feel like the things that, like little things like that, that you're doing is really going to bring joy into the, the, you know, the hiring people that hired you or the person that you messaged. And I feel that because they feel joy, they're going to message you back or communicate back to you and say, I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, we'll make this work in, in some way, shape or form. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of here. I feel like there's going to be some sort of outcome that says, you know what? Because you've been so honest, I'm, I'm able to accept this. And as long as you continue to stay honest and stay open and communicate, this is something that's workable. That's what I'm getting here. Week five, the Hierophant. Um, wow. What I'm really getting here is, wow. Okay. So, all right. I'm just going to point this out. We have the Hierophant. We have um, obstacles is a chariot in reverse. And to overcome, we have the four of wands. Hierophant and the four of wands are both about marriage. However, if you're not, if you're just starting to date this person, you might not be looking to get married immediately. Or if it's about business, then you're obviously not looking to, you know, get married to that specific situation. But what I am seeing here is that the energy for week five really has to do with, um, like traditional values, like committing to this job or committing to this person, um, can learning more about the company because they were so wonderful and extending out, you know, 
you know, a, a return message or learning more about this person that you're trying to get to know because they were, they, they were able to, you know, be appreciative about you sending out a message and, and accepting of that. Um, that's what I'm getting here with this Hierophant. Um, I, I feel like this is just about you wanting more out of the situation because they've been patient. And because they've been patient, there's something that really attracts you to that, that much more. Whether Again, whether it's business or personal. Um, with the chariot in reverse, the obstacle, again, I feel like this is about um, travel, uh, about uh, distance. I'm getting a lot of distance here. So I... I I don't know if, if maybe you had travel plans to go do this, whatever it is, it, you know, whether it's going to that new business or going to see this person, but maybe these plans kind of fell through or something else came up that you're unable to, um, to, to, to do, or this could also possibly be some sort of inaction. Um, maybe on your part, maybe on their part, maybe they were also busy and they were unable to, um, unable to get back to you as frequently as they, as they do, you know, things happen. Um, I, I feel in this particular case that really what this does is make you want them more in a very odd way. It, it's almost like you want to lock it down. Um, because you, you feel them pulling away and you're like, whoa, 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 no, don't pull away from me. I, I want this. I want this. Whether again, whether it's business or personal, it doesn't matter. It's like you really are wanting this. And I, 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 I'm seeing you longing, um, to do really good in this company or do really well with this person, like going the long haul with either or. All right. And then. With the four of wands, this could be, again, marriage. This could be about commitment. This could be about just steady ground and setting a really solid foundation in either business or personal. Um, I, I feel like this is going to be an amazing week for you. I feel like this is, for, this is the first reading that I've seen for you, Gemini, where you know, you're, you're finally breaking out of, of something because I feel like you've been having a difficult time trying to move forward. So overall, I feel like this is going to be a really good month. I really do. All right. Warrior is your, um, universal, um, guidance. Go for it. T to me, I'm getting, um, knight of wands energy, like go for it. This is something that has been set in your path for a reason, go for it. Um, I, I really like this for you guys. I'm getting the fact that, and I said it before, I feel like you're going to be very passionate about this person, this business, this company, whatever it is. It's something that really lights you up. I, I, those are the words that they just showed, they, they, that they gave me. I just heard it. They light you up. And they're, okay, they're also giving me a duck. They're showing me a duck. And to me, what this means is really um, you staying calm through it all. You might for sure feel not calm internally, but I feel like you showcase how calm you are um, in front of them, whether again, business or, or personal, take it how it resonates. All right, additional message. We have seven of cups, four of coins, and two of coins. Listen, yes, you have a decision to make. We know this, but I feel like, I feel like if you choose something new, something that you haven't done before or you haven't done in a very long time and go through it in a very steady pace, you're going to be able to make the best decisions possible for yourself. And I feel like you're going to be able to balance 
overall your emotions and how you feel so that for the best possible outcome. That's what I'm seeing here for you. I actually really like this a lot for you, Gemini. This is so good. So good. I mean, you you start with dry desert. You end with, you know, the four of wands, which is a solid foundation. I mean, that's that's pretty darn amazing if you ask me. All right, my darling Geminis, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading did resonate. If it did, please um, consider hitting that subscribe button or leaving a comment for me. If it didn't, please go ahead. Remember, these are general readings, so check out your sun, moon, rising signs. All right, my dear ones, have a great one. Bye.